They will be witnessing the opening of the school library and the community parish hall. Racing the event will be uh, Reverend Bishop David Kamau, who is the uh, who is the, uh, the apostolic administrator of the Catholic Archdiocese of Nairobi. This school is not only geared to equipping students with the normal education system, but also creating a space for them to be who they are and also computer studies. So before the event ends, we will be joining uh, uh, the, the community. Our director, parish director will be joining us live on Capuchin TV to share more details about the school library and the community parish hall. So the parish hall is there for every uh, member of the community to create a space for them to be who they are, who they want to be, and also to equip students for their, uh, to create, uh, to equip students with their personnel skills to be ready for the job market. Thank you and enjoy the event. I've been your host, Brenda Kalunda. Thank you. Kwa jina la baba na la mwana na la mtakatifu. Amen. Bwana awe nanyi. Wakristo zangu. Walimu na wageni walikwa. Tuko hapa. Kwanza kwa ajili ya kumshukuru Mungu. Kwa kutupa baraka ambayo imetuwezesha kumalizia ukumbi wa parokia na maktaba ya shule 
Kwa hiyo namshukuru sana Mungu kwa kutupa hiyo baraka. Na ndio maana tumekusanyika hapa siku ya leo. Basi naombeni tushirikiane wote kwa ajili ya kumshukuru Mungu. Hivyo basi namkaribisha Namkaribisha askofu askofu wetu David Kamau kwa ajili ya kuanzisha hii ibada. Today we are gathered here to give thanks to God for many blessings he has given us that we are able to erect the parish hall and the community library. So join us to thank God for this occasion. And now I invite our Lordship Bishop David Kamau to lead us into this Eucharistic celebration. Kwa hiyo basi ya kwa machache sasa ndugu na dada tujue tarabi zetu ili tuweze kujiweka tayari kumtoa Mwenyezi Mungu sadaka takatifu. na kuungamia Mungu mwenyezi ndugu zangu kwani nimekosa mno mwanzo kwa maneno kwa vitendo na kwa kutotumiza wajibu nimekosa mimi nimekosa mimi nimekosa sana ndio maana kuomba mali ya Mungu bila daima malaika na watakatifu wote ani ndugu zangu niombeeniko bwana Mungu mwenyezi atumia samedha bizetu atufikishe kwenye uzima wa milele.
tuombe e Mungu wewe unawasikiliza daima kwa huruma watumishi wako wanapokuwa katika tabu tunakushukuru kwa ajili ya wema wako na tunakusihi utuopoe na maofu yote ili tukutumikie siku zote kwa furaha naomba hayo kwa jaba na wetu Yesu Kristu mwana anashinda katika umoja na mtakatifu Mungu daima na milele Amen. Yordani. Sawa sawa na neno lake yule mtu wa Mungu. Nayo nyama ya mwili wake ikarudi ikawa kama nyama ya mwili wa mtoto mchanga. Akawa safi. Akamrudia yule mtu wa Mungu yeye na mafuatano yake yote. Akaja akasimama mbele yake. Akasema sasa tazama najua ya kwamba hakuna Mungu duniani mwote ila katika Israeli basi na kuomba upokee baraka kwa mtumwa wako lakini akasema kama bwana aishivyo ambaye nimesimama mbele yake sipokei kitu akamshurutisha apokee lakini akakataa na amani akasema kama sivyo lakini mtumwa wako na apewe mzigo wa udongo wa bagala wawili kwa maana mtumwa wako 
hata toa tena sadaka ya kuteketezwa wala dhabihu kwa miungu mingine ila kwa Bwana hilo ndilo neno la Mungu wimbo wa katikati kitikio Bwana ameufunua uokovu wake machoni pa mataifa Bwana ameufunua wake machoni pa mataifa Bwana tutaimba Bwana ameufunua wokovu wake machoni pa matai
pili. Somo katika waraka wa pili wa mtume Paulo kwa Timotheo. Mkumbuke Yesu Kristo aliyefufuka katika wafu wa uzao wa Daudi kama inenavyo injili yangu. Nami katika hiyo nimeteswa hada, hata kufungwa kama mtenda mabaya. Lakini neno la Mungu halifungwi. Kwa ajili ya hilo nastahimili mambo yote. Kwa ajili ya wateule ili wao nao waupate wokovu ule ulio katika Kristo Yesu pamoja na utukufu wa milelo. Ni neno la kuaminiwa kwa maana kama tukifa pamoja naye tutaishi pamoja naye pia. Kama tukistahimili tutamiliki pamoja naye. Kama tukimkana yeye yeye naye atatukana sisi. Kama sisi hatuamini yeye hudumu wa kuaminiwa. Kwa maana hawezi kujikana mwenyewe. Hilo ndilo neno la Mungu. Tusimame. Injili ya Luka sura ya 17 mstari wa 11 hadi 19 Yesu alikwenda njiani kwenda Yerusalemu alikuwa akipita katikati ya Samaria na Galilaya na alipoingia katika kijiji kimoja Alikutana na watu kumi wenye ukoma. Wakasimama mbali. Wakapaza sauti wakisema, "E Yesu, mwana mkubwa, uturehemu." Alipowaona aliwaambia, "Enendeni mkajionyeshe kwa makuhani." Ikawa walipokuwa wakienda walitakasika. 
na mmoja wao alipoona kwamba amepona alirudi huku akimtukuza Mungu kwa sauti kuu akaanguka kifurifuri mguuni pake akamshukuru naye alikuwa msamaria Yesu akajibu akanena hawakutakasika wote kumi wale kenda wako wapi je hawakuonekana wale urudi kumpa Mungu utukufu ila mgeni huyu akamwambia inuka enenda zako imani yako imekuokoa neno la bwana Tunusevi Yesu Kristo. Na Mungu ni mwema. Na kila wakati. Mungu ni ni wema. Kila wakati. Yes. Ha, kwa sababu Mungu ndiye mwema kila. Sisi wengine binadamu anaanguka, anainuka, anaanguka, anainuka ni kweli eh. Mm. Basi wakristo wapenzi, tuko hapa. Afala amesema vizuri. Na kwamba tuko hapa kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu. Kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa kutuwezesha kujenga ukumbi wa kanisa na pia kujenga a uh, library mahali ya kusomea. Na kwa jambo la kwanza kwa kusoma misa na kumshukuru Mungu ni kuonyesha kwamba tunatambua tuna ukumbi na library tumefanya kwa uwezo na nguvu ya Mwenyezi Mungu. Na kwa hivyo ni jambo la maana. Kwa sababu zimekamilika basi tuje tumwambie Mungu a shukra. Ni jambo la maana sana kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu. Kwa hivyo tumesikia katika injili Yesu Kristo alipokuwa akienda alipatana na hao watu kumi walikuwa na ugonjwa wa ukoma na walimlilia Kristo Kristo mwana wa Daudi tuhurumie na Kristo akasikia kilio chao na akamwambia sasa mumepona mmekatsika ndeni mkanionyi mkajionyeshe kwa kuhani lakini walipoenda wakaona wamepona na kati ya hao ya hao kumi ni wangapi walirudi kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu moja hao wengine tisa hawakuwa na maana hawakumbuka kwenda kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu na Kristo kama alipoenda huyu mmoja ni Samaria Kristo kama sio kumi mliponywa wale tisa wako wapi na injili inasema Kristo hakufurahia na ajabu hiyo kwa sababu hao tisa hawakuona hawakurudi hawakuona maana ya kumshukuru Mungu. Basi sisi na kuwa huo mmoja Samaria. Sio hao wengine tisa. Nataka kurudi kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu. Na tuchukue nafasi hii sasa. Kila mmoja wetu kuna amefanikiwa kwa ajili hii jia nyingine. Amefanikiwa amepata baraka. Basi tuchukue nafasi hata sisi binafsi. Tumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu. Ninyi wanafunzi si ninyi wanafunzi unasema ya wapi eh hata wapi 
hapa basi unajua kuna kuna, wana, kuna watoto wengine wangetaka kuwa shule lakini hawezi eh, kuna wengi sana wako huko mitaani wakilanda landa hawana nafasi ya shule ya, ya, ya kwenda kwa shule ni mnamshukuru Mungu ah lazima tumshukuru Mungu eh ni jambo la maana sana kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa hivyo ningetaka hata sisi kila mmoja wetu na mimi mwenyewe tuangalie mahali ambapo Mungu ametusaidia tukimshukuru kwa hukumu wa kanisa kwa library hata sisi tumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu na kwa hivyo na kitabu ningetaka musome kwa sababu tutakuwa na vitabu laibra ni ya vitabu ni kweli kwa hivyo ningetaka ningetaka kwa kuna kitabu ningetaka musome kila mmoja asome ili aweze kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu eh niwaambie kitabu mtasoma mtasoma ninyo wa Kristo eh ukienda usome na usome vizuri ili uone maana ya kumshukuru Mungu ni kwa nini utamshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu. Hii ndio kitabu sasa. Na ningetaka ukienda kusoma msome kwa watu wawili, usome kwa peke yako. Hata kama ni bana na bana na bibi wewe usome peke yako eh. Msitatu msome nyinyi wawili. Kila mtu asome akiwa peke yake. Peke yake ili uweze kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu mtakwambia nani ameandika na publisha na pale naweza ipata. Ni kweli eh? Hii ni kitabu. Jina la kitabu Usome historia ya maisha yako. Hiyo ndio kitabu. Ni wewe umeandika. Kila mmoja wetu kuna kitabu ameandika katika maisha yake. Maana unaweza kumbuka uangalie Mungu vile amekufanyia ame nini uangalie kuna mahali ambapo usikia kama uta, utakufa ukiwa katika hali ya ndoa ndoa itafujika lakini haikuvujika Mungu akakusaidia nchi yetu itaharibika lakini haikuharibika kwa hivyo urudi umshukuru Mwenyezi kwa yote 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 amekufanyia kwa hivyo siku ya leo ndio tunataka kufanya tunaanga tunayo ukumbi wa kanisa tumshukuru Mungu tuwaombe na kuwashukuru benefactors wale wanatusaidia najua kuna watu wengi wamesaidia wameshangilia wale wakuwa kijenga contractors na hasa tuwaombe mapadri wetu kwa kuwa na fikra za kujenga hasa library library muhimu sana na huu mjengo ukumbi wa kanisa na library utumike that will be used for the purpose that was put up kwa sababu tunaweza kujenga lakini tukose kufanya nini kutumia na kuna hii library ikose kutusaidia kwa hivyo tunapobariki tuombe tuitumie tumie ukumbi wa kanisa library na kusoma Mungu atupatie nguvu ndio kuna nasikia ndio mnachukua mmesikia hii hadithi ya ya huyu mnyama fisi fisi mnajua fisi eh fisi ni nini mnyama haina eh eh fisi haina unajua haina ako tofauti sana na wengine wanyama wengine kwa sababu haina anataka sana kufanya nini kula kula anataka sana penda sana kula haina hata meno yake ni ya kula eh sasa haina wakati fisi alikuwa anajaa sana haina was very very hungry ilikuwa akitafuta chakula akaanza jangwani akaangalia lakini hakupata chakula sijui siku ngapi mwishowe akampata ndama wa ngombe ndama ngombe na ndama wa ngombe alikuwa amefungwa sana vizuri sana 
Haina akaangalia akaangalia hii dama hii kaf. Is well tied. Lakini akaangalia akaangalia kwa nini tied. Sasa akakaa pale. Akaanza kutoka na nani na nini? Eh? Eh kwa sababu alikuwa na hamu sana ya kutaka kula eh. Basi akaangalia juu. Kasema hii dama imefungwa vizuri. Wewe Mungu nasema na wewe unapatia watu chakula. Amefungwa imefungwa vizuri sasa chukua. Nimeangalia sana amefungwa vizuri. Angaza Mungu sasa wewe unasema unapatia watu chakula. Hii dama amefungwa nimeangalia sana inakaba iko sawa. Sasa chukua nimeona tuone. Mwishowe kaanza kufikiria nitaanza wapi? Nyuma au mbele? <laughs> Akaanza wapi? Akaenda nyuma. Ali ali alianza na, na, na nini? Dama akafanya nini? Akakimbia. Sasa akaanza kuomba Mungu, Mungu kumbe ni wewe ulikuwa umenipatia. Kumbe ni wewe. Alikosa kumshukuru Mungu, Mungu ampatie hekima. Hekima na ujuzi wa kula hii nini ndama akaanza kutoka na Mungu kwa hivyo anaweza kusema tunaweza patiwa na Mungu lakini tukoze jia ya kuitumia so we can have a library and we feel to make use of it na kama nimesema uh, we thank the priest for coming up with this idea you know in our culture na shida na kacha yetu. Hatuna hii kacha ya kusoma, ni kweli. Tabia ya kusoma. Na kusoma ni himu sana kama kama tutakuwa katika akili. Lazima kufanya nini? Kusoma. Na sio tu wanafunzi, hata sisi watu wazima. Mambo mengi sana tunasahau mambo ya kusoma. Ya kusoma. And we cannot grow. Na ne, afadhali nguo inaruke utashona lakini akili kinaruka utashona utashona na nini eh? na akili inakuwa timamu kwa sababu ya kusoma a catch of reading na ninyi wazazi mwimizo watoto na sio tu watoto hata ninyi wenyewe eh? wewe mfano kila wakati una kitabu unafanya nini unasoma kila wakati una kitabu unasoma na jeremisha the greatest poverty is ignorance the greatest poverty is ignorance kutokujua na kwa hivyo basi tuombe sasa tunapobariki huko wa kanisa na library tupate ngufu na tuweke bidii ya kusoma kutumia sio tu wanafunzi lakini hata sisi wote sisi wote tuzipofanya hivyo tutapokea chochote tunaambiwa na na watu chochote kwa sababu hatujui Chochote tunaambiwa kibaya kizuri tunaambiwa unachua kwa sababu hujui lakini ukisoma unaweza chagua kwa hiyo basi siku ya leo tuzie tufutue kama hii ofisi tumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu ili naye Mungu atupatie ufu uwezo hekima ya kutumia library na kusoma. Hiyo ndio shida tunayo katika African culture. Hatusomi. Tunajifanya sisi tunajua kila kitu. Na ni ujinga tunao. Eh, ni ujinga. Sasa mafadhili wa America library tuitumia hata hivyo tutabariki, tutaibariki. Tutabariki kwa kuku wa kanisa. Jambo la maana kubariki Najua kuna wengine wana 
najenga lakini wengine wanaweka vitu vingine eh eh na kabwera na kuja na mambo yake eh kuweka vitu vingine hapo eh basi tutabariki tutaweka maji ya baraka mtu mwingine sasa akiwa kitu kingine singani na ya Mungu itaburudia mwenyewe hiyo ndio maana tunabariki eh hiyo ndio maana tunabariki zamani sana kulikuwa na huko village kwetu huko village kwetu kulikuwa na watu wawili mmoja alikuwa anaitwa Wakombe Wakombe na mwingine alikuwa anaitwa Muroki kulikuwa na Muroki na Wakombe eh? sasa Muroki ndiye alikuwa kabwere huko mtoto mama akipata mtoto na hii ni kacha yetu hata kila watu wana hawa watu mama akipata mtoto na muroke aye wa kwanza kubwangalia huyo mtoto anakuwa mgonjwa kwa hivyo mama akipata mtoto wana muroke yuko pale anakata kona na muroke ange, kuna macho alikuwa akiangalia buzi hivi buzi inaanguka na hii kwa ukweli kwa ukweli inaanguka na sasa hata pengine hao tunaweza kuwa na muroki eh tukijenga na hii hapa anawakuja kuweka vitu vingine hiyo ndio mara tutafanya nini tunabariki baza kulikuwa na kakombe naye kakombe yeye alikuwa kama medicine man Muloki akiangalia mtu ana mtoto anapelewa wa kwa kakombe amtengeneze. Ili ashinde, amshinde nani? Muloki, eh? Yeah? Nakumbuka hivyo kwa sababu zamani zamani kuna mtoto wetu mimi na mama tulipeleka wa kakombe. Kwa hivyo ni ukweli, eh? Yeah? Mama kaniambia alikuwa mdogo, huyu mtoto sasa this man this boy is very handsome na mgoroki akimuona inakuwa shida. Tumpeleke kwa kombe sasa. Tukaombeleka. Kwa hivyo hapa mgoroki begine ni wengi eh. Ni wengi. Lakini kwa kombe tunaweka maji ya bara. Hiyo ndio maana yake tunabariki eh. Ndio maana yake tu na imani sasa. Tukibariki. Na jawa kuna hata kwa vitu vingine ugeenda kusoma badala ya kusoma unakuwa mwana wazimu eh kwa hivyo ndio maana tunabariki tukimshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu ili ukumbi wa kanisa na library to be used for the purpose of which they are put up na itusaidie hata kujenga imani kumkaribia Kristo na hasa kujitayarisha kwa ufalme wa Mungu. Kwa hivyo ningeo langu ni kuwasihi ninyi wanafunzi na sisi watu wazima. We pray and be build that culture of reading. Eh? Reading ni muhimu sana. Ili hata wengine wakitupasha habari na hii na hii unachagua kwa sababu unajua. Sipofanya hivyo basi tutachafuliwa akili ambayo tunasikia na pia sema tumashukuru shukuru mapadri wetu tumusifu Yesu Kristo basi tusimame tuungane imetu kwa ibani kwa sadiki na sadiki kwa Mungu mmoja Mwenyezi Mungu mbingu na nchi na vitu vyote vinavyokaa na moja Yesu Kristo mwana wa pekee wa Mungu aliyezaliwa kwa baba tangu milele yote Mungu aliyetoka kwa Mungu mwanga kwa mwanga Mungu kweli kwa Mungu kweli aliyezaliwa bila kuumbwa mwenye Mungu mmoja na ambaye vitu vyote vimeungwa naye 
ameshuka toka mbinguni kwa ajili ya kusifu wanadamu na kwa ajili ya wokovu wetu akapata mwili kwa uwezo wa Roho Mtakatifu kwa yeye bikira Maria akawa mwanadamu akasulubiwa pia kwa ajili yetu sisi akateswa kwa mamlaka ya Pontius Pilato akafa akasikwa akafufuka siku ya tatu iliyoandikwa akapaa mbinguni amekaa kule kwa baba atakuja tena kwa ukufu kwa hukumu wa simana wafu na ufalme wake hautakuwa na mwisho na sadiki kwa roho mtakatifu bwana mleta uzima atokae kwa baba na mwana anayekudiwa na kutukuzwa pamoja na baba na mwana aliyenena kwa vinyao vya mwanadamu na sadiki kwa kanisa moja katakatifu katoliki la mitume na ubana ubatizo mmoja kwa maelezo ya ndani na kujenga nafu kwa wafu na msimu wa milele amen sasa ndugu zangu tumuombe Mungu Baba Mwenyezi asikilize kwa wema sala setu kwa ujumbe wa Yesu Kristu Bwana wetu prayer for the church we pray for the pope bishops priests and the father in charge of our parish may you keep them faithful to their mission by renewing all people in christ and transforming them into your own family lord hear us, lord, hear us. prayer for our country father lord Those who work for peace are called your children. May we never get tired of working for justice, which alone guarantees true and everlasting peace. Lord, hear us. A precious hear us. Prayer for our school. We pray for the school director, principal, and the entire St. Joseph development programs that our dear Lord may give us the grace to work in harmony. We also remember various donors and other people who have ever supported us in any way. Lord, hear us. Lord, precious hear us. Prayer for the family. We remember our dear parents who entrusted us by bringing their children to our institution. Grant our students wisdom, knowledge and understanding so that they may be able to make good decisions here after and throughout their life lord hear us lord precious hear us prayer for the sick lord your son took the sufferings and weaknesses of all mankind in the midst of their illness and pain may they be united with christ who heals both, both body and soul lord hear us lord precious hear us prayer for the departed O God, to whom it belongs, always to have mercy and to spare, be favorably propitious to the souls of your servants and grant them the remission of all their sins, that they may be admitted to life everlasting. Lord, hear us. Lord, precious, hear us. Mungu, uri matibirio na nguvu yetu, uri asiri yabe mawote, sikirize sara za kanisa lako, Jari ili hayo tunaomba kwa imani tuyapate kweli kwa jina ya Kristo Bwana wetu. Wewe ni mwana, 
Mungu wangu kitakachokuwa sawa na fadhili zako wewe ni mwana fadhili zako nikupe nini nikupe nikushukuru Sadaka yangu na yeye nikubariwe na Mungu Baba Mwenyezi. Mwana kwa sifa na tukoje. Na pia kwa mafaya tu sisi na mafaya ya kanisa lake. Tuombe. E bwana wewe ulimtoa mwanao kwa ajili yetu kusudi kwa hisani ya, yake atuopoe mautini na katika maovu yote tunakuomba uipokee kwa wema sadaka hii tunakutolea kwa ajili ya kukushukuru kwa sababu ya kutuo ya kutuondoa katika taabu zetu tunaomba hayo kwa jina ya Kristo bana wetu amina bana awe nanyi awe pia nweni mioyo tumeinua bana Mungu wetu kweli ni vema na hakiku daima na upote e bana Bama Mungu mwenyewe azimele. Tunatambua kwamba ni fahari yako kubwa kutusaidia sisi wanadamu kwa neema yako. Na tena umeufanya udhaifu wetu kuwa dawa yetu. Na tuliopotea 
umetuokoa kwa ajili kwa ajili ya Kristo bana wetu na ya majeshi ya malaika waabudu tukufu wako na kufurahi mbele yako milele tunaomba sauti zetu ziungane nao tukisema kwa furaha Takatifu Mwana Takatifu Mwana Mungu wa majeshi Takatifu Mwana Takatifu Mwana Mungu wa majeshi Mungu na dunia Mungu na dunia zimeja mtukufu wako Mungu na dunia kwa mtakatifu na chemche mtakatifu wote kutuna kuzitakase kwa nguvu ya roho ya roho wako na bihizi ili ziwe kwetu mwili na damu ya bwana wetu Yesu Kristo yeye apojitaka kwa hiari yake ateswe aitoa mkate yeye alipojitoa kwa hiari yake ateswe aitoa mkate akashukuru akaumega akawapa wafuasi wake akisema tuaeni mle wote huu ndio mwili wangu utakaotolewa kwa ajili yenu baada ya kula akatoa kikombe akashukuru tena akawapa wafuasi wake akisema Tuaeni munyo wote hiki ni kombe cha damu yangu damu ya agano jipela milele itakayomwae kwa ajili na kwa ajili ya wengi kwa maombi ya dhambi fanyeni hivi kwa kunikumbuka mimi ili ni fumba la imani alikufa huyo alipofunga huyo atakuja tena ni Yesu huyo kwa hiyo e bana tunapaa kufa na fua kwa mwanao tunakutolea mkate wa uzima na ikombe cha ukofu tunakushukuru kwa kumeo jinsi maana mbele yako na kutumikia Tunaomba kwa unyenyekevu na mtakatifu atufanye tuwe jamaa moja tunaoshiriki mwili na damu ya Kristo. E Bwana, ulikumbuke kanisa lako popote duniani. Utukamilishe katika upendo sisi pamoja na baba mtakatifu wetu Francisco na msimamizi wa jimbo letu Askofu David Kamau ambaye yuko hapa na watumishi wako wote. Wakumbuke pia ndugu zetu waliofariki dunia wakiwa na tumaini la ufufuko. Wakumbuke na marehemu wote wapokee kwenye nuru ya uso wako. Tunakuomba uturumie sisi zote ili tustahili kushiriki uzima wa milele na kukusifu na kutukuza. Pamoja na Maria pikira mwenye heri mama wa Mungu, mtume wa nyaheri, 
mtakatifu Yusufu na watakatifu wote waliokupendeza tangu kale kuomba hayo kwa njia mwanao Yesu Kristo kwa jia yake pamoja na yeye na ndani yake we Mungu Baba Mwenyezi katika umoja wa mtakatifu unapata heshima na utukufu wote daima na milele na sasa tusali kwa imani ile sala aliyotufundisha bana wetu baba yetu uliye mbinguni jina lako litukuzwe ufalme wako ufike utakao nifanyike duniani kama mbinguni utupenda mkati wetu wa kila siku usame makosa yetu kama tunavyosamea sisi waliotukosea usitutie katika kushawishi lakini utakuwa mauguni e bana kuomba tuomboe katika mavu yote Tujarie kwa wema amani maisha ni mwetu. Utuepushe daima adhabu kwa huruma yako. Tusifadhaishwe na jabu lolote. Tugoje kwa matumaini kurudi kwake mkombozi wetu Yesu Kristo. Kwa ufalme wako na nguvu na utukufu hata milele. E bana Yesu Kristo, liabia mitume wako na wachieni amani na wapeni amani yangu. Tazame dhambi zetu ya tu imani ya kanisa lako. Ujarie amani na umoja kama alivyo mapenzi yako na yeishi na utaya daima na milele. Amen. Mali ya bana iwe daima nanyi. Na sasa tutakiane amani. Yesu Kristo mwana kondoo wa Mungu adwa za biza dunia. Heri awaliri kwa kwenye kalamu ya bana. E bana si zaidi kwangu. Lakini sema ni mmoja tu. Bwana.
kikuja uh, kutoa sadaka zetu tukuje kwa utaratibu huo huo tafadhali tuzingatie hiyo physical distancing kwa ajili ya corona asanteni sana wanakuwa mnaenda ile
Tuombe. E Mungu Mwenyezi, we unapenda kwa ajili ya mkate huu wa uzima, kuwafungulia utumishi wako kifungo cha dhambi na kuatia ngufu kwa ukalimu wako. Tujalie, tusiache hata mara moja kutumaini kupata utukufu wako. Na tunaomba hayo kwa jina la Kristo Bwana wetu. nifundishe kufanya nini maybe tubadilishe tuseme nifundishe kuwa na shukrani ama so when the choir is singing what do we do are we unwell are we not grateful so what do we do those who can dance do what those who can shake do what msinifanye niumie hello msiniangu mungu ni mwema kwaya asanteni Ti 
Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Tumsifu sana. Basi tunawashukuru sana wanakwaya uh, na wale wote ambao wameungana na wao katika mambo ya mwisho. Uh, baba Askofu, the area MP, mapadre na wakristo wenzangu, baada ya hapa tutakuwa tunaelekea kufungua ile jengo that's the library na uh, the parish officially na hivyo kwanza ningependa kuwajulisha wale ambao watakuwa kwa hiyo msafara kwa sababu corona haitaturuhusu sisi sote tu, tu, tuandamane wale ambao watakuwa wanatangulia ni altar servers alafu nyuma yao kutakuwa na staff council alafu tutakuwa na the heads of units that's within the uh, St. Joseph uh, development program. So uh, unit heads are fadhali mkuwe tayari. Alafu tutakuwa na one PPC, most likely the chairperson, uh, mudu mutafadhali. Uh, alafu the board of the development program, pia watakuwa kwa umu safara. The area MP. Alafu uh, tutakuwa na watawa, priests, and the celebrating bishop. And then after that tunasisi sote kurudi hapa kwani bado kutakuwa na uh, uh, vitu kadhaa za kufanya tutakuwa na pitches alafu vile vile tutakuwa na uh, uh, vote of thanks na kisha baadaye kutoka hapo uh, tutaona venye tutafanya hivyo kutoka hapa um, tutaomba uh, wanakwaya watu ongoze tukienda kule juu uh, kubariki kumbi na library asanteni sana Bishop Patabeli Kimaji baada ya maji tutakule kwa ajili ya ku bless the whole ba mungu bwana mungu wetu ayabariki maji haya tukaonyuziwa maji haya atukumbusha ubatizo wetu mungu atujalie tuenende kwa kuwa waaminifu kwa yule roho tuliyompokea e mungu mwenyezi wa milele tupa sisi na damu maji ya kutupatia uzima na kazi 
Nataka pia maji yaweze kuosha roho zetu. Tutaramia ya uzima wa milele. E bana kuomba kwa wema wako uyiki maji haya tutaka yatutie katika siku yako hii kwa haya uifanye mpya yetu kemia uzima wa neema yako utukinge kwa haya na maofu yote ya roho na mwili tuweze kukugoje we wenye moyo safi na kufaidi kabisa wokofu unatupatia namba hayo kwa jina ya Kristu bana wetu amen e Mungu mwenyezi tunakuomba kwenye kefu wema wako uibariki chumvi hii ulioyumba we mwenyewe zamani ulimwamuru nabii Elisha atie chumvi ndani ya manji kusudi asilete vi na uzazi wa maofu kama mboza e bana kuomba kila mahali takanyuziwa maji takayochanganya sasa na chumvi kuse kila uofu na ubizani wa adui nasi tulindwe daima na roho wako mtakatifu naomba hayo kwa jina Kristo bana wetu
Bwana
Thank you very much. Asanteni sana. Wakati huu uh, tutaanza a speeches na kwanza kabisa ningependa kumwalika our parish priest uh, Father Mauki akuje atupe welcoming speech. Asanteni sana. Karibu Father. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. My dear, your Lordship, Bishop David Kamau, Area MP, Board of Governors of St. Joseph Development Program, teachers, our parish owners and all invited guests. I'm here just to give you a welcome. You are welcome to our celebration, blessing of the parish hall and community library. We are all delighted for accepting our invitation. Thank you for coming. A big thanks to each and everyone present here for joining our celebration. A heartily welcome to our Lordship Bishop, David Kamau. I know when I went to request him to come and bless, he was very excited and he said, I will definitely come. Thank you, Bishop, for being ready to come. I also thank our invited guests for joining our celebration. You are all welcome to this celebration. St. Joseph the Worker Development Program has many friends, donors, and all, all wishes. And they are here because they support us in many ways. Thank you for coming. I also welcome St. Joseph Development Program Board of Governors because together we have, dream, we have been dreaming what is the best for the school, what is the best for our programs, what is the best for our parish. Thank you for dreaming with us. My special thanks goes to all the leaders of the parish Parish Pastoral Cancer. Know that we'll be working together, praying together, making sure that this dream becomes a reality. Thank you for supporting us, for supporting priests, for supporting everybody. I also thank our parish owners for your prayers and support. May you enjoy this celebration in thanking God for the blessing he has given us. Have a good time. Thank you everyone for joining us. Thank you.
Thank you, Father, uh, for the welcoming speech. Sorry for that. Um, that is uh, the new normal. Sanitizing them after every speech. At this time, allow me to invite uh, one of the students who had prepared something for us uh, to share it with us before we can continue with the rest of the speeches. Welcome, Margaret. His Lordship Bishop David Kamau, the Area MP, Honorable Tim Wanyoni, the Board of Governors of St. Joseph Development Program, the clergy, and all protocols observed. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. First and foremost, I'd like to appreciate all those who have attended this function. And I would also like to thank in a special way the Italian Bishops Conference and the area MP, who are the main reason why everyone is gathered in this special event and who have helped the school in various ways. I feel very honored to talk about my school. My dear fellows, our school where we are studying has completed about five years of teaching. This school has created many bright, talented, and extraordinary students. I would like to talk about one of the significant things about our school, which is the library. When the school began in the year 2015, it lacked a well-equipped library. This made, in, this made learning process to be difficult since the students did not have enough books to do their research. However, within these five years, the library has gradually upgraded. The students have been able to access some of the books, but the books have not been enough, which has posed a challenge to the students in the school and to the students around the school. Due to the help we have acquired from the Italian Bishops' Conference and the Area MP, together with all other well-wishers, the students can now access a modern and a well-equipped library. This has made the learning process in the school to run smoothly since we are able to obtain knowledge and do our research from the modern library. The kind gesture which has been illustrated by the Italian Bishops Conference, the Area MP, and all other well-wishers will not only serve as an advantage to the school but also to the community in general. You have all inspired us and we appreciate all your efforts. Thank you and may God bless you. Thank you. Uh, can we give her better appreciation? Thank you very much. Um, at this moment, allow me to welcome uh, Father Binamungu to come and share with us one or two. Welcome, Father. What is good? All the time? Lordship, uh, Bishop Kamau, Father in Charge, and Father Director, the Board of Governors, BPC, students, teachers, and everyone who is here, and our area MP, Honorable Timo Wanyoni. I'm honored to be here to celebrate with you this great milestone. I want to believe that God has a purpose for this. Okay. 
I was reminded to use the two microphones. I want to believe that God has a purpose for, for this uh, library and uh, parish hall. God has a purpose because I want to give a witness, uh, some witness about uh, this library, which really shows that God wanted it to be here. Uh, Father Angelo Munduni, who was the director of the programs uh, before Father Ponciano, I don't know, I never asked him whether he's the one who thought of this, or he continued where uh, others had left. You know, when we build the kingdom of God, we rarely begin anything new. We normally continue where others have left off. Uh, so that's possible that he just continued where others had left out. But even if he began, he is the one who wrote the proposal to the Italian Episcopal Conference. Uh, and he was transferred before the proposal could be submitted. And during the time of waiting, uh, for Father Ponciano to arrive and take over as the director, I was acting. When Father Munduni had left, he told me there is this proposal. It is not yet submitted because the architect has to bring the drawings and the bills of bill of quantities because they were required by the Italian Episcopal Conference for submission. Otherwise, the proposal would not be complete. And he put me in touch with the architect. Apparently, it's not the architect who completed the project. It's a, a previous architect. And the architect, unfortunately, was every day giving dates. I will, uh, I will bring it in the next two weeks. That was three months before the deadline for submission in Rome. Then three months became two months. Two months became one month. I was calling the architect almost every day. One month became three weeks. Three weeks became two weeks. I remember very well the date of submission of the proposal was a Wednesday. The proposal had to be in Rome. The previous Wednesday, one week before, in the evening, this architect calls me and says, I'm here at the parish. And I've come with the proposal in the evening. So I went, uh, not the proposal, the drawings and the BOQ. I met him, I received the drawings and the DOQ. That night, I did not sleep because I had to prepare the whole dossier so that on Thursday morning, I go to the cardinal because his letter was required. So I was in touch with uh, our driver, John, and I told him, I have to attend morning mass at the Basilica because we have to do it, this thing very fast. Went to the Basilica and after the mass, the cardinal had a meeting. So we had to wait. After that meeting, I met the cardinal asking for a cover letter. He wrote the letter but told me this letter is not enough because you also need a letter signed by the chairman or president of the Episcopal Conference of Kenya, KCCB. And for that, I left with the letter of the cardinal. I went to KCCB. When I met the officials at KCCB, that is Thursday, they told me, uh, actually, you are very unlucky. The president, the chairman of KCCB was here. He has left this morning. And this is, was the bishop of Homer Bay, Bishop Anyoro. So I tried to talk to the KCCB people. 
Is it possible that we can have the vice chair, who is the Bishop of Ngong, Bishop Obala? Could we have the vice chair sign so that I drive to, to Ngong to have his signature? They told me, unfortunately, when it comes to proposals, the agreement within KCCB is the chairman himself must sign. So, from Westlands at the offices of KCCB, uh, I called one sister Roda, uh, who was working here, many of you know her. And I asked her whether she knows Bishop Anyoro well. She said yes. I said, could you call Bishop Anyoro, ask him if I could send someone, because I have a letter which has to be signed, it has to be in Italy on Monday. After a short time, Sister Roda called me, says, yes, I have called him, and he has told me to tell you to call him. So I called uh, Bishop Agnolo. I explained the case, and they told me, if you send someone, it's okay, but tomorrow, which is Friday, I will not be there because I have gone out somewhere. I'll be going out somewhere, and therefore I will come either Friday night or Saturday morning. But if you send anyone, I'll make arrangements to have uh, that person accommodated at the bishop's house. Then when I come, I'll send the letter. So from where I was, I called the lady who works here, Yvonne. I told her, if you need to prepare yourself, please leave the office. Go home, prepare yourself. I'm coming. I'll give you a dossier. I'm sending you to Homer Bay. You take the night bus. So... Sure, when I came, Yvonne was ready. We arranged, she traveled by night bus to go to Homer Bay. She arrived on Thursday night. Friday, she spent the whole day there because the bishop was not there. The bishop came on Friday night. So on Saturday morning, he signed that letter. Saturday night, she got a bus. She came back to Nairobi. Sunday, that's when I got the, the papers. Monday morning, first thing, at DHL. And I asked the DHL people, this thing has to be in Rome on Wednesday. Are you sure it will be there? They said it will be there. When I was doing all that, I reached the point where I said, let me do everything possible in my power so that I can't blame myself because... The work which has been done previously is so great. Let us see whether this thing will succeed. After the dossier went, in my mind, we were late. Therefore, I never even bothered to track with the DHL whether the dossier was received. So much that even when Father Ponciano arrived, one of the things I shared with him was not about this proposal because in my mind, we had been late. About two or three months after Father Ponciano was here, one day I'm in my office. I receive a phone call from the Archdiocese of Nairobi. The sister secretary there, she calls me, she tells me, Father, your proposal with the Italian Episcopal Conference has been approved. You can see that God had a purpose. With all the hassles we went through, and even we had thought this proposal would not have come true, it happened that the proposal was accepted. And I think this is a very good reason to thank God for, uh, for the achievement. Uh, I really want to thank, uh, first and foremost, the Italian Episcopal Conference, who funded uh, this project. And uh, after the project had begun, a lot of other needs uh, came up. And uh, the government of Hungary, most specifically the parliament of Hungary, and that was courtesy of the area MP here, and his office, the parliament office of the area MP, the government of Hungary chipped in and gave us more support. 
And then uh, Interculturas, uh, this is a funding agency in uh, Spain. Interculturas also came in and uh, gave a hand. I uh, want to thank uh, these uh, uh, partners who really made this possible. And of course, I see Mr. Ali here, uh, the, our contractor with Elcon, uh, who came in with uh, the, uh, the architects. We had to change the architects because uh, the previous architect we had, I not mentioned them, uh, despite delaying us from three months to one week, also there were a few issues, which in the end we just agreed. We had to sit down with them uh, to agree and uh, pay them for the work of drawings they had done, and then we changed the architects to Uto Creations. Uto Creations, parishioners will know them. These are the architects who constructed our CTK church. Uh, so I want to thank them all, and uh, in a very special way to thank the development office here for the great work, not only for this proposal, because they are the ones who write all the proposals uh, for the for the parish. Uh, I speak with some confidence. I hope it is not exaggerated confidence, because once I worked here, once upon a time, I used to work here, I used to live here and work here. So I thank the uh, development office, development programs for the great work they do for this parish to make sure that proposals uh, are well articulated and are submitted to places where uh, we can easily uh, get support. And uh, I want to say, since, as we have seen, God had a purpose to make sure that this library and this hall happen. Let us make the purpose for this library and this hall true. Let us make this purpose make sense. Uh, students, uh, His Lordship has reminded us, and it is true, that the culture of reading is dying. Let us take advantage uh, of this great facility so that we can show the rest of the young people that there is uh, a lot to gain by developing this culture of uh, reading. I thank also the board of the development programs. I thank the parish uh, pastoral council. And I thank everyone who, in one way or the other, has had a hand in making this dream come true. May God bless you. May God bless St. Joseph uh, Development Programs and St. Joseph Technical Secondary School. May God bless everyone who is here. Thank you very much, and may God be with you. Uh, thank you, Father Binamu. Uh, my takeaway is God wanted the library to be there to help somebody, and that somebody is you as a student. So just look at the sacrifices that people made to make this a reality and begin using the library uh, in a more constructive way. And I know maybe the challenges is now books. Uh, just like God sent his servants to assist us with the library, let us also use our connections to get books to the same library. At this time, uh, allow me to invite our area MP, Honorable Tim Wanyoni, to come and share with us uh, his speech. Ndeni sana, Papa uh, Skofu, uh, our parish priest, and, and uh, the leadership of this uh, place, students, parents, and all invited guests. Good afternoon. Wana Seviwe. It's a great day indeed. Um, when when 
personally, we have our library ready for use for our students. And I believe this will go a long way to improve the quality of education in this place. Library is a place for people to acquire knowledge and also expand on our reading culture. As uh, our bishop said, the reading culture in this country has really gone down. But we just need to inculcate in our young people that reading is empowerment. And I can tell you a story of my son. My son has books. I think he has read more books than I have read in all my whole life. And the boy is 16. When you come in the house, he has placed books almost in every place. When you go at the toilet, there's a book there. When you go at the, in the kitchen, he has a book there. He has a book in every place. And he reads almost the time. He doesn't watch TV. And uh, this just started in a young age when he used, you know, bedtime reading and all doing all that. And then he picked up from there. He reads so many books and always we must make sure that we are hungry for knowledge that's the only way we can be able to empower ourselves and a population that is informed is a population that is aware of their rights and you'll never be taken for granted yeah because many of us we are told that don't read maybe your leader has read for you you must read for yourself and make a decision. It is important that we always do. Right now we are having this BBI. I'm very sure many of you have never read it, but politicians are misleading you left, right, and center, telling you whether it's good or bad. But if you read it yourself, you will know how to make a decision about that document and say it's not good for me or it's good for me and the people who will come after me. Isn't you? Therefore, you must just make that decision yourself, a personal one, that you read something every day. Eh? You must read, at least if you have a book, read at least two, three chapters in a day. Eh? And read your Bible. It's one of, is the book that has got all books. I think I've read from cover to cover, but every day, when I hear uh, a priest preaching, I feel that I, I, I still don't know much. I need to read again. And that is how we keep on encouraging ourselves. Secondly, in Parliament we have a caucus called CAMSI. It's about it's, it's, it's members of Parliament who are Catholics. And this group, we normally do our... Uh, we call for conferences in Rome sometimes and we also have friends like the embassy of Hungary Hungary is the one that introduced us to uh, the members of parliament of Hungary they even sponsored some of us to go there so when they asked for a project I named the project of this uh, this, this church and that's how they came to sponsor uh, this facility so sometimes you know, when you have one of your own sitting somewhere who we'll listen and also think that we have a need somewhere and then we can present. So we thank God that this, uh, this actually came through. You remember even when the Pope came, he came here, isn't he? Back at this place was being called Vatican. So I believe we are blessed and let us acknowledge that always God has a reason for everything, see a purpose for everything. And as Father has said, I think he had given up, but uh, the others were still working, and they invoke. And sometimes, Father, you also look at the time, the, the difference in time. Maybe here you are late, but there you are, they were not late. They were still working, see So sometimes you run, and then you reach somewhere, sana, but kuna wale pato wanaendelea kufanya iyo kasi. And you know those people who want to help you, they don't just dismiss you unless they have exhausted all 
all, all, all things that are supposed to be done. That's the only time that they can now say, enough, it's enough. This person does not mean, look like he wants to be helped. So ours is to support and to work together as a community to support our children to get education. And I believe that in a small way, uh, we participate to encourage uh, these young people. And the only way to empower the population that is going to take over after us is to give them quality education. Give them a good foundation that when they come, after you have gone, nobody will be there to start guiding them or micromanaging them. They will know what to do at that time. And it's only done when you have knowledge, when you are know, you have learned it, and you know. You know, Kenya, actually we have done very well in our education. Because if you go to our neighboring countries, including South Africa and those Southern African countries, you'll find so, so many Kenyans working there. And when they go there, they fit very well. And that is something that we must always never compromise on. Let us give our children quality education and let us always aim for the best. So, so, kwa kumalisia, I also want to say, please, our architects, you design buildings, but you design it denying opportunity for others to access those buildings. It is now a law in this country that buildings must be accessible. I struggle to call that building because there are steps everywhere. One step will limit somebody to go there. We want even children with disability to come and enjoy this library. Sindio? We want everybody. So those of you who are designing buildings, Tafadhali, put in mind that that building will be used by everybody, including, you know, it's not just people with disability who will fail to access, there are people who are old. Kuna wamama wajawazito, always panda hizo stairs. Na kuna watu wengine ambao who are incapacitated in one way or another. Let us just put that in mind, that when you are designing a building, think about yourself. Think about your parents, if they come to visit you in that house, will they go and sleep upstairs? Amo, you'll start creating a makeshift bedroom downstairs. Just make sure the house is accessible. Eh? I built my house when I'm on a wheelchair and I made sure it, I, I have access to any room that I want to go there. So that is the only way you have to go. If I want to go to the washroom here, I'm sure I'll not manage. So we must also start thinking about accessibility for everyone. Don't just think about yourself. Eh? Sometimes you find wametengeneza washroom size ya mutu. Yule mwenye anaingia tuna size yake hivu. You must make sure that washroom, if I were to go there with this wheelchair, I must turn around and come out. Sawa sawa. Siyo hile yewe umichitengenesea mwenyewe. Make it for others. And let us think in that direction. And always, you know, when you are in that area of making decisions, read and understand the laws of the country. Those laws are there. And when you are designing, just know that you may be breaking a law somewhere or not. Sawa. Kwa hayo mengi, munga wabariki na tuendelea kushirikiana kwa mambu mengine. Asandeni sana. Thank you very much. Hata mwishimiwa mitumia connection zake Wendeleza kazi ya mungu Yewewe Tumpike makopia kena Now it is my honor the time. I just, just since I've given the sermon, a few words, I'd like to repeat what uh, Mashimoa has said, that uh, when you do something, 
you do it not yourself, but do it for you do it for the others. Eh? That uh, when uh, God created us, He created us just for, He created us for the purpose, not to sit down, not just to enjoy ourselves, but rather for the goal, the responsibility, for taking care of others. And what has destroyed our communities? It's not because most of the time we think about uh, ourselves. So that um, God created you, He gave you a responsibility, a duty, and uh, our happiness and joy can only come when we fulfill that duty that God has given us. We are not created to move here and there, but for a mission. And once that mission is true, then the one who has given us, then he will call us. As long as you are there, then you have always something to do. Mashimua is a holy chair. But he is continued to fulfill his duties. When he's here, he's fulfilling that purpose for which God has put him there. Even somebody who is in hospital bed, that person is there. He's not useless. God won't use him even when he's there. So there's no way you say that I have nothing to do. A person who has no purpose for life does not qualify for life. Does not qualify for life. That's why when you see people going around there and they say now we have nothing to do. Not that they have nothing to do, but they are not looking what they are why what they are supposed to do. By somebody who is uh, maybe 40 years, and maybe he died at the age of 20 years. So you see somebody is walking but he's dead. Because he's not fulfilling the mission for which he was created. That's why we need prayer, we need God. That we may know the purpose for which God created us. As we have in the church, we need to call God and to show us, give us the light to know why we are here. So, uh, the library, I say that we should go, uh, we must form a culture of reading. And through reading, then we know the meaning of our life. So, uh, people's Youth, go there, read, so that you know what you are supposed to do. Because again, knowledge is power. You know what's supposed to do. So, I have the opportunity to wish you all the best. To congratulate again, to congratulate the priest for coming with that idea of putting a community library. It's not only for the students who are in the classroom, but for the community, both young and uh, the old. So, fathers, uh, thank you very much. And uh, I will give you a homework to do, isn't it? You go and add the book I told you, eh? You are the publisher. God was written. God was written. Thank God, asking him to give him more light to understand why he had this life. God is good? All the time. And all the time. Okay. okay thank you. Let's uh, appreciate him. Thank you very much uh, for that, uh, Bishop. Now, um, it is time for awarding our guest of honor. And uh, I would wish to invite uh, uh, whoever is ready with the development of his uh, uh, award and also the parish. Uh, so uh, the, PPC the PPC chair, please uh, take over from me as we wait uh, for the development of his to prepare.
the Lord is good. The Lord is good. Your Lordship, Bishop David Kamau, Honorable Tim Wanyonyi, all protocols observed, good afternoon. I'm standing here, self-appointed, to invite our friends who are bringing gifts uh, to appreciate our guest of honor, and most important, for allowing to be here. We know he's very busy. Cindy, I'm very grateful that the uh, Honorable Team has observed our challenges and has advised accordingly. I would also want to emphasize that Honorable Team, actually one of the works he did was to bring the Hunger Helps Agency, which is the Hungry Government. He has mentioned it, right? The Hungry Helps Agency is also helping us to put up a new structure where we have the carpentry workshop. We know where it is? The building next to the library, within three weeks, it will be coming down. And then, we shall be putting up three-story building. And as we were designing that, we were reading the mind of our friends, the mind of our beneficiaries, the mind of those who access it. And so, all that building will have to connect to the library. So we shall have a lift on it to make sure everyone is able to benefit. So we are grateful again as I invite uh, the bearers of good news to come. I thank everyone again for working with us. We have had friends who have had supported us. We cannot forget one group called the Loyola Foundation. When we did not have books, they gave books worth one million Kenya shillings. And then, recently, while we were in COVID suffering and struggling, we got another donation of books relevant to the Kenyan curriculum worth 700,000 shillings from the Desai Memorial Foundation. The books are with us. And many other things. So, kidogo kidogo, tutajaza. Cindy, makofi kwenu pia. So I can happily welcome those bearing the gifts uh, to bring and they know what to do next. Asante. Thank you for coming. Thank you for Kwa Kristo wote kwa jumla na mbunge wa eneo hili letu la Western bwana Panyoni. Kwa hivyo wakati huu nikumshukuru baba askofu kwa ajili tunajua kwamba lazima kujaribu kija lazima tumshukuru. Tumshukuru kama vile tulisikia katika masomo ni wangapi ambao walirudi kurudisha shukurani si ni mmoja. Kwa hivyo nasi kama wana parokia wa mtakatifu Yosefu kufanya kazi lazima turude tuurudishe shukulani kwa baba askofu kwa hivyo baba askofu ni wakati mzuri wa kusimama kupokea shukulani zetu kama wanaparokia Thank you. Um, at this time, allow me to invite uh, Lucy Kumu to give her, I mean, to give us a uh, voice of thanks. And then after that, there will be announcements. Uh, so look uh, out for that as well. Please, that, let's not leave until we're done with this. So Lucy Kumu, please. Good 
μια ερώτηση. Ε, ADMP, Board of Governors, and all those who are here, good afternoon. Uh, it is good now, you have heard from all the, speaker, the speakers who have talked about what had happened in our area. So we cannot forget, first of all, to thank the Almighty God who have given us the chance to be here, even made you wake up and remember that you are coming. And there are so many things which has been done here, if it were not the gifts from God, giving all those who are wishing to give us all what they are giving, we could not be able to have it. So we, we, this is the time we want to thank our mighty God for all what he has done for us, starting from the beginning of our parish up to now. We would like also to thank your Lordship for your time coming here, leaving everything and thinking that it is good to join us. It is not your first time to be with us. You have been spending many times coming and seeing us. Yes, we need your encouragement so that we can be able to continue with the work we are, we are doing. Without you, we cannot move. Our ADMP, we are happy. For your concern with our technical, not only the technical, entirely our parish. Being our ADMP, you have done a lot to us. Not only here, even the primary school, everywhere, we can see your touch. We can see you are concerned with us. We cannot forget to thank you and to tell you to continue. You continue with us. Being our area MP, we rely on you because you can see far where we cannot be able to. And even putting our Saint Joseph in our mind, we thank you for that. Continue supporting us and may God bless you. You continue, you live longer, you have a high, another higher, now and then next time maybe you are not going to MP, you get another higher one, because when you are higher, you also benefit higher. So thank you so much. Uh, we are also going to give thanks to the Paris, the Italian bishops, who also had thought of helping us. Not only that because the Pope was here, it is because the, help, the, the need of helping was with them. They take the opportunity to think of how they can upgrade our St. Joseph Technical School. The whole, the library, the modern one now, we, we are really, we are proud of it. So we thank them and we tell them to continue with any other support they have. May God bless them. We are also going to express our gratitude to Archdiocese of Nairobi for working so closely with us. It is because of your efforts, our Lordship, that the Archdiocese of Nairobi are so close to us. They are so close to us because your heart and your mind is always with us. So we thank you, the diocese entirely, and we are also saying they continue doing the great work they are doing to support our Christians, to support each and everybody, so that we can be able to continue educating our young ones, so that they can be able to take our... We would like another one from here to here. He can remember, I am a bishop because our Lordship Bishop Kamau was here. If we can get one from Kagem, it is our pride, and we are hoping for that. We take this opportunity to thank the Society of Jesus, starting with our father, Binamugu, who was with us as our Paris priest for many years. And even the trouble you had, the sleepless nights, today you can sleep. You are proud of what you had gone through. You, you thank God for that, because if you had not that interest for following, maybe it could have collapsed. It didn't collapse because he continued, he had hope for the Lord, he knew God is with him, and everything succeeded. Even if you have forgotten, for three months, the dream came true, 
and you were happy. So we were happy with him because now we are enjoying the fruit, the fruits. We keep, uh, we keep on the recording of the internness of our friends and the donors who continue, who are continuing to give us, to help us, especially now, the hunger, where they feel that they are also going to continue. You can see how God is good for us. God is good for us because there are so many things he is giving us. It is only us to open our hearts so that when we receive, we continue working and doing something so that even those who are donating, they feel that they are happy, they are giving to people who really they are in need, not the people who are not in need. As we were told about reading, it is true. As even if I'm as old as I am, I do read. Because when I read, I find my brains fresh. Otherwise, without reading, you find that you will not know anything. So we continue reading. We are grateful to St. Joseph, the Worker Development Program, Board of Governors, and their valuable contribution, guidance, and encouragement in all their efforts. Without the development, maybe you could not be able to reach to our donors. Father, we thank you. When you came, you started the job and you continued. You are not going to leave it. If you move away from here, it is not the way you found it. It is better than the way. And we are always told to leave the place where you are but better than the way you found it. So we thank you so much for the work you are doing with your board of governors. And we know God is going to open your eyes more wider. You get more donors. Even the rooms we are finding here, maybe another five years, Taskia in Apomorewa, Igine in Ajego, Igine, to Toke Koyavial. And then we have so many other facilities. We remain grateful to our parishioners for the prayers and support. In fact, you may find that you have donated nothing. But if you have a word of prayer, you remember whatever is going on within our parish, you have donated a lot. Because we need support with those people who can pray for our children, for our project, for everything that is going on within our parish. So if you are one of those who have been praying, we feel we cannot forget you. We tell you thank you. Yeah, I know you somewhere hiding and praying, but God, that is why many of the things which we are, we are finding it to be very difficult, we could be able to go through because somewhere somebody was praying. Our words may not be, maybe communicate to everybody or tell everybody who have done something, thank you, but whoever is here and is not here with us, and he had done something within our parish entirely for our Saint Joseph. I feel that Sisi tunampeda, na tunapeda kiramutu, yoyote yako hapa. Na pia tunapeda the children, without the student, hatuke kuwa nashu, nashure. So thank you so much, and may God bless you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Lucy, uh, for your, your, your words of thank. Now it is time for announcements, and uh, before I invite uh, the priest to walk with the crew from uh, Capuchin TV to tell us uh, one announcement that they have, I would first of all wish to make mine. And one is that after this, there is good news for our stomachs. There will be food. Clap for that. And uh, this is how it's going to happen. All guests with cards, those people who are invited with cards, uh, the area MP, all the priests, uh, the bishop, the sisters, and brothers will uh, exit to walk through that door and they'll be directed where their uh, stomachs will feel happy. And the rest of the guests, including myself, uh, will uh, also remain behind as we are shown where we can also go and feel happy. And then uh, after uh, the priest shall have made his announcements, um, we will be having a closing prayer 
uh, from Bishop. And uh, I would wish to request you, uh, Bishop, that as you close for us, please pray for our food as well. Otherwise, uh, with that, I would wish to invite uh, uh, the priest to come and share with us. And then he will give over the microphone to Bishop. Come on. Thank you. Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati Baba mpendwa baba askofu mapadri ndugu zangu wapendwa mheshimiwa mbunge wetu ndugu wapendwa wote walioalikwa tumsifu Yesu Kristo Kwa niaba ya Captain TV ambaye leo imebeberusha misa hii live kwa television yetu ya Kikatholiki Tunasema kwamba tunafuraha kujiunga nanyi kuendeleza kazi yake Mwenyezi Mungu. Caption TV ni television ya kipekee ya kanisa Katholiki ambayo imeanzishwa miaka mitatu iliyopita. Na tunapeperusha mitambo hii ili kuwasaidia watu waweze kumjua Mungu zaidi. Nakumbuka mheshimiwa alipokuwa hapa mbele amesema kwamba kijana wake anasoma zaidi ana vitabu kila mahali na hiyo ni jambo nzuri na anasema alisema kwamba amuruhusu kuona televisheni labda ni kwa sababu ya habari ambazo television zetu tuzinaleta ndio sababu caption tv tunataka kumwambia mheshimiwa televisheni hii haiwezi kumdhuru kijana wako hata anaposoma vitabu kwa hivyo amuruhusu vile vile angalia televisheni itakuwa ni jambo nzuri kuangalia kwa sababu wanasema kwamba the fear of god the beginning of knowledge tunamuokoa Mungu kabla muokoa Mungu unapata hekima kubwa zaidi. Nawashukuru nyinyi nyote siku hii na kwa wale ambao labda mkirudi nyumbani muangalia caption tv saa nusu misa hii itarudiwa. Asante Mungu awabariki na mnaweza kutupata vile vile kwa YouTube, Facebook na Twitter. Asante sana Mungu awabariki. Anataka usaidizi wa Caption TV Aliwopa kuambia hivyo Kwa sababu hii TV Ni Congregation ya Franciscan eh? na mara nyingi wanapata shida hapa na pale. Kwa hiyo kifanikiwa kuwasaidia kitu kidogo. Amesahau ku, kusema hivyo. Kwa hiyo anasema kwa niaba yake. Bas eh? <laughs> tusimame tu ni tu, tu, tu. kwanza tuombe chakula. Bless us your Lord and this your gift which you about to goodness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Amen. And now may your mighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us be in peace to love and serve the Lord, the mercy is added.
opening of the parish hall, blessed by his lordship Bishop David Kamau, of who is the apostolic administrator of the Catholic Archdiocese of Nairobi. So, um, uh, and in attendance is the MP of Westlands constituency, its honorable Tim Wanyonyi, who has uh, called upon people to have the good, a good reading culture, echoing the words of our Bishop David Kamau. And joining me today is a student from St. Joseph Secondary uh, who is about to share to us about her joy of uh, having a school library. How are you? I'm fine. Uh -huh. So how do you feel about having a school library here in your school? I feel so good because in many ways I'm able to do my research and then we can be able to get more knowledge. I feel empowered because we know that most girls in this area and other areas, they are not empowered to read. But I feel happy because even the girls will get an opportunity to read and feel empowered. Okay, you have heard from her, a student at St. Joseph Sec Technical Secondary School who is uh, so happy to have a school library and she's so happy that the girl child is having an opportunity to have uh, the best and quality education that she requires. Do you think that uh, uh, it's true that Kenyans don't have a reading culture? I think at some point it's true because we can visit many areas where you can see kids do not access the education due to many reasons, one of them being poverty. But uh, in, our, in our terms, we can be able to access the library, even the community in general can be able to come to the library and access it. Okay, thank you so much. So the MP has encouraged that we have a reading culture. Uh, thank you for everyone who has been joining us. We really appreciate you. You can always find Capuchin TV on our Facebook account, uh, Twitter, and also YouTube at Capuchin TV. Uh, uh, also, uh, the MP has, has stressed that uh, while building your equipment, uh, your your buildings that you should also look out for those people with disability as they say disability is not inability and the MP has also uh, encouraged people to read books to have books everywhere so as to uh, participate and uh, equip students with quality education you know they say knowledge is power and today at St. Joseph's we are so much happy that they have opened a school library and the parish hall. Thank you so much. Thank you. You can go. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Karibu, Karibu. Uh, so uh, we are joined here by, just tell us your name and uh, your responsibility here at St. Joseph. Uh, kwa majina mina itua Bernard Murunga. Na mafuraya siku ya leo ambayo tumetu. Mefraia siku ya leo ambayo tumetembeleo na bishop na mpunge wetu wa hapa Westland Mr. Tim Wanyonyi bila amekuja kufungua ile mjengo ambayo ilianzishwa na Father Angelo tumefurahia sana tukiwa hapa St. Joseph au uh, uh, wewe ni mwananchi ama wa hii area Uweza sema nini kuhusu ufungu, uh, ufunguzi wa library na parish hall? Uh, mi ni mshiriki wa hapa St. Joseph. Ingawaje mi na shiriki uh, CTK. Lakini ni poroke yetu. Ni mefurahia sana. Uh, hii ni library itasaitia kwa watoto wetu ambayo tu watakuja kujiunga na hila upra. Na pia kwa community yetu. Yeah. Uh, na na uh, MP amesema kwamba watu waanze kusoma. Ni kweli unakubaliana na ili haya maneno ya MP? Uh, na, nakubaliana nayo kabisa kwa sababu watu wengi wamesahau ku, kusoma. Shukuli wako nazo mingi. Shukuli ambayo mpaka mtu anasahau kusoma. Lakini vile mpunge wetu ametuambia ame pia father wa Kapuchini pia amerudia kusema hivyo. Tutakubaliana tuta nayo. Asante sana tumeshukuru huyu ni mwananchi uh, mwananchi kutoka hii area ya 
Kangemi na amefurahi kwamba wamefungua library na parish hall. Asanti. Hai. Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity. Juma pili hii ya nne kipindi cha kawaida, Capuchin TV tutaungana na waumini wa parokia ya Mtakatifu Matia Mulumba, Makongeni, Thika katika ibada takatifu ya misa. Ibada ya kwanza itakuwa saa mbili na nusu asubuhi. Ibada ya pili itakuwa saa nne kasorobo. Capuchin TV inawapongeza mapadre, viongozi na waumini wa kanisa la Mtakatifu Matia Mulumba wanapojengea Mungu kanisa jipya. Capuchin TV kitambulisho katoliki. wewe unayenisikiliza usikose kutoa sadaka yako eti kwa sababu father huku muona au pasta huku muona mtumie pasta wako au kupitia mtandao e, ile kwa njia inaweza kueleweka inatumika kama wewe ni muumini wa dhebu fulani au kanisa fulani tafuta muhimize padri wako askofu wako nani wako mwambie tutafutie kitu kinaitwa pay bill number ama mpesa number hii itatusaidia kuchangia tutaomba uitume kupitia mitandao ile ambayo tumepeana. Peaneni mnajua pay bill namba ya, ya kanisa la kwako au ya pasta wa kwako tafadhalini jaribuni muwasaidie. Wao pia wamepata changamoto hii. Kipaimara ni sakramenti yenye kumpa Mkristo Roho Mtakatifu na ukamilifu wa mapaji yake saba kumfanya Mkristo mkamilifu na kumfanya shahidi hodari wa Yesu Kristo mpaka kufa. Kupata kipaimara kama sikiza tuni yako, tuma neno sikiza likifuatwa na nambari 738102 kwa nane moja moja. Are you in search of a private home in Rongai Kajiado County? Look no further. Meadows Maisonette is up for sale. An alluring four bedroom ensuite in a strategic and desirably peaceful neighborhood. Located along Mudaura Road, off Magadi Road just 100 meters from Magadi Road. The property is a modern architectural masterpiece with astounding finishings on the walls, floors, and ceilings. Enjoy ample parking space, enough fresh water supply, and a sizable garden. The Maisonette is well secured with a long-lasting impregnable gate and electric fence. Call us today on 0113 129888 or 0778244780 to schedule a tour with us and get fine details of this homey home Middles Maisonette this is the real deal Coronavirus COVID-19 is a respiratory virus spreading across the world. 
The infection is spread from droplets of coughing and sneezing of an infected person, touching or shaking hands or being in contact with contaminated surfaces or objects with the virus. The signs and symptoms are fever, coughing, headache, body ache, difficulty in breathing. The disease can be prevented by regularly washing hands with soap and running water. Avoid close contact with people who have flu-like symptoms. Avoid handshake, hugs and kissing. Also, protect yourself by covering your mouth or nose using a disposable tissue while coughing or sneezing. If you experience these symptoms and you had traveled or been in contact with a person from a country reporting COVID-19, you should isolate yourself for 14 days and seek immediate medical attention or report to the new nearest health center. This message has been brought to you by the government of Kenya and its partners. For accurate information on COVID-19, dial star 719 hash or call 719. Follow us on Twitter at MOH underscore Kenya at spokesperson GOK at WHO. Are you looking for a quiet, productive, unique and relaxing location at the coast? Consolata Guest House has got it all for you. We are located in Likoni at the south coast. We have elegant, spacious and comfortable rooms at different packages for single and group occupancy at a pocket-friendly rates. We have excellent internet connection and spacious grounds for special events such as weddings and shooting. We provide fresh, delicious and healthy meals to cater for your health needs. In addition, we have a chapel to nourish you spiritually. For more information, booking and reservations, call us on 0768-117-280 or 0737-958-120. Email us at consolata guesthouse mombasa at gmail.com. Looking for a house in a serenely homey atmosphere? Gracious Homes, a gated community with six units, both three bedroomed and end suites, is up for grabs. The homes are located in a strategically secure and peaceful neighborhood along Kayaba Road in Gong, Kajado County, only 500 meters from the main road. Each house has its perimeter wall and separate gate. Enjoy spacious dining area, ample parking space, and kitchen gardens. Schedule a tour with us today and get the real feel of all the indoor and outdoor features of these impeccably unique homes with ready title deeds. Call us today on 0721-645-294. Gracious Homes a true definition of home.